In this video, I am going to show you how to create this UI design in Penpot. First of all, grab some images. Since we are going to design a recipe app, I have used unsplash.com. Copy the image from there and paste it directly on your Penpot canvas. Do this for multiple images. I'll speed up this process. Now create a board. You can use B as the keyboard shortcut. Give this a preset of whatever you like. I will choose iPhone 12. Let's create the onboarding screen. First, I'm going to create a button, the call to action. That is, by creating a board. But before that, I'll add a grid so that we have a guideline to work with. I'll make this a column grid and make it four columns. To show the grid, Go to edit view show grid. Now change the margin to 24. Adjust the button. I'll align it to the edge of the columns and the border radius 10. You can press all to see the distances. Now select the text tool by pressing T and create the button text. Give it a font of red hat text of 18. We have to center align this. One easy way to, is to create a layout. Select the board and press create a layout and make it align and justify in the center. You can play with the settings to get a hold of what the layout will do for you. Now we are done with the call to action. Let's create assets based on this style. Go to the assets folder and add a typography. I'll name it button text. Make sure you have the button text selected. Now we can reuse it later. And I'll add the color as well. Select the board and then add the color. I'll rename it to accent color. Make the button a component and rename it. I'll call it call to action. Let's create the secondary button. Duplicate this button by pressing Ctrl D or you can right click and duplicate. Since this is a component and we have to change it, first detach the instance by right clicking and detaching the instance. Now change its color. Give it 10%. Or 20%. Now go to color after selecting the text and adding a text color. Now create another component and name it secondary button. We have to create the title text now. Type whatever you like and give it a font of inter type of 32 pixels and a weight of 600. Make it center aligned and adjust the width to fit the margin and decrease the font size. Now add the typography as an asset. I'll name this display text. Select all three, the text and the buttons. Wrap it around the board by pressing Ctrl Alt G or right click and selection to board. Now under constraints on the right you can make the elements inside the board. Now under constraints on the right side you can place the elements in relative to the board. So select all three items and make it center on both horizontal and vertical axis. Now when you resize the board, they will always be centered. You can give the board a color. I'll choose white. I'll add it in the color style and name it background. I'll just change the main background color or a different color just to visualize. Now change the border radius of the card to 14 for top left and top right. We are done with that part. Now let's create an image background. I'll create a board as the image container. Copy an image from above and paste it inside this board. Now resize it. Now the image is inside the board. Duplicate the board by pressing Ctrl D and select the previous image and delete it. Replace it with another image. Do this for all the images. I'll speed up this process. Now I'll group these images by selecting everything and wrapping it inside a board. I'll select around four boards and press Ctrl Alt G. Now we have this inside a board. I'll change the layout of the board to have a flex direction of column. Now we have a column. I'll change the height and width to fit content so that it will fit all the images. Change the gap to around 8 
Now we have an image container, a column. I'll remove the white background of the board. I'll rename it. Double click on the name of the board and you'll get an option to rename it. I'll drag the image container into the main board. Bring the card front as well. I've repeated the process for other images as well. Now take it, now place it inside the main board and I just make it center aligned. Do this for the other one as well. Now duplicate one of the boards and place it in the corner. You don't need to create a separate one. You can just reuse the existing one. Do it for the other corner as well. Now let's give it a slight chain so that the bottom cards stand out. Create a rectangle and give it a linear gradient and make the black color to be at the bottom and the transparent color to be at the top. Place it inside the board. Now change the opacity to around 50%. Bring the card to the front and resize the rectangle. The onboarding UI screen is done. Now let's move on to the login and other screens. I'll create another board and give it a, an iPhone 12 preset. Now it's not hard since we have the assets created already. So duplicate the text from the previous screen and make it left aligned and rename it to login. Place it so that it aligns with the grid. Now create another text and let's make the label. First unlink the style. And change it. Place it accordingly. Create a rectangle so that it resembles the input box. I'll give it a ball radius of 10 and change its color. You can add this color to the assets library and give it a name of light gray. I'll select both and make it a component and rename it as input. I can drag it to create another input and I'll give this field as password. I'll bring in the call to action button. Meanwhile, I might adjust the text input height. Seems like the button text is too big, but it's easy since we have created a global style. We can simply go to the button text and make it 16 and everywhere it will become 16. That's easy, right? Now I'll create a text in the bottom. After this, it's the same process for the sign up screen. I will speed up, but you can see it's the same. I duplicate the login and change it to sign up and add more fields for the sign up form and change the text. And for the home screen, I'll duplicate the board and delete everything. I'll create a title called home. I'll create another board called navigation bar and set it with width as same as the previous board and height of around 70. I'll create a layout and make it center aligned. Now every time you place an object inside this, it will be center aligned. I will create another board. This will be the navigation item. And I'll make it the same height as the navigation bar. You can see it's placed in the middle. I will just change the color so that you can visualize. I'll make the width 100%. So it will take up the entire container. If I duplicate that, you will see it will divide into two. So that we can have equal length items inside the navigation bar. Now we'll add the icons to the navigation bar. I'll go to this website. You can easily select an icon from here. I will choose the core UI icon set and search for home. You can see there's an SVG. So we can copy and Directly paste it onto the pen pot canvas and it will be an SVG in the pen pot. Now I will reduce this size and bring it inside the navigation item. Now to make this align in the center, I will select the navigation item and give a flex layout and give it an align and justify of center and a flex direction of column so that we can have the text below the icon as well. I'm adding a text and making Changing the size, I'll give this a gap, change the color. I'll delete the other navigation item. Now we have this full width navigation item. I'll duplicate this and you can see it has equal space. 
what I'm going to do is replace this as which is the different one. I'm going to speed up this process. You just simply copy and paste, then resize it, and delete the home icon, and change the name. Simple as that. Now I'll make this into a component and then drag it from the asset stem and place it in the board. I'll add a stroke to the main component. I'll make it one and adjust the color to be a light color. And if I update the main component, it'll show a stroke in that. Now we have a very light border on the navigation bar. I'll create another text, a subheading, and apply the same process for this. I'll speed up this process again. And for the recipe item, I'll create a board. Bring it outside the container, outside the main board, and give it a background color. Predefined color from the file library. And give it a border radius and then add some text. You know the drill, it's the same process. I will copy the image from above and I will add it into the board and I will place it so that it won't hide the text. You can make this a component and add it onto your main board and duplicate, rename and change the images. I will create another recipe item with a small size. Duplicate the recipe item and detach the instance. And make it a different size. This time I will make the text appear above the image and give it a rectangle. Give it a black background. I'll make this a component. And I'll repeat this same process again. Take the component and duplicate and change the name and the image. So that's how I create this simple UI design in Penpot. Hope you learned something. Like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. Thanks a lot for watching.